So we are essentially a solutions based organization. We are helping companies in terms of finding market entry strategy, operational excellence and at the end of the day working out some innovative out of the box solutions where we can help them increase their top line and their profitability. Yeah, so one of the most popular services that we provide is the mystery shopping uh, experience where basically clients would like to know what is happening on the ground with customers. So we go as decoy customers. We essentially become the ears and eyes of the customer and of the client. So we let the client know what's happening at the ground level and basically it increases, uh, it enhances the customer experience because the staff does not know who the mystery shopper is. So they treat every customer maybe as a mystery guest and try to deliver uh, you know, the best customer experience. Uh, you know, management consulting is such an open word. Uh, I would personally look at solutioning as the word. Like for example, uh, one of the clients said that, okay, you do great mystery audits, you do some great operations audits, what's after that? And this is where we and the team, we sat together, we brainstormed together, and we came up with a solution that is known as iTrain. This is an app-based solution where the staff of every organization gets trained on an application, on a tablet, on a web-based questionnaire gamification program. So consulting and solution I think is required for every industry. The best thing it's evolving. We see e-tailing coming in, we see modern retail evolving. So consulting will always grow. So in terms of the market size, we would call ourselves the leaders in the asia Pac region, not only in terms of the turnover, but in terms of the number of transactions that we do. We clock around 50,000 transactions per month, which is by far, we would be almost triple of what our second competitor would be. In terms of the market size, I would say this should be easily a $2 billion uh, business in India, in India, uh, out of which we obviously have a sizable share. But I think this pie is going to grow, it's definitely going to grow at a much faster pace. I love when the, when, when the industry moves to a new notch. Today it could be e-commerce, but at the end of the day what we all need to understand is consumer is the king, right? E-tail could be a new concept, but if you actually see it's not very different from brick and mortar. It's only logistics being provided where you're sitting at home. It's a new form of retailing, right? And I think that this will evolve even further. You know, I've I heard of a new concept where these taxis are providing groceries at, at home. Can you imagine that for a few years ago? Maybe not. So I think e-commerce is going to evolve. I personally think it's really it's at its inception stage right now. It's not even reaching to a maturity stage. Maybe in the next three years, it will reach to a maturity stage. Yeah. And another five years down the line, it will evolve into something totally new. Very good question. We are already, we are already touching tier four and tier five cities. Okay. So some of our clients that are into telecom, you know, they sell the SIM cards in the smallest of villages because in villages you still see people talking like, to each other. So tier two, tier threes, I think have already been touched by the economy in some form or the other. It's time for the tier 4s to come to the tier 3s and the tier 5s to come to the tier 4s. We are also covering the, the southernest part of India and the northeastern part of India in terms of the work that we do, the consulting, the audits, the mystery shops, the forensic audits, fixed asset verification that we do. We're covering pan India and I think India has a, has a phenomenal opportunity. So yes, the underbelly, what I call the bottom of the pyramid, that is moving up, the aspirational class is moving up and that is what we as a consultancy firm, as a solutions firm, we are enjoying it now. Everyone asks me the same question, it's a very good question. Uh, so primarily we started as a chartered accountancy firm, so maybe our rivals could be the top four of the industry. But today we have totally transformed into solutions oriented. So we no longer just a mystery shopping company or a CA firm or something doing something on operational excellence. We have created something that we call the first of its kind front end and back end integrator. So we are the first of its kind and that's why clients are coming up to us for solutions. So in terms of competition, to be very honest, I, I think they could be maybe the top four in from an accounting and a consulting space and from a market research could be the top three as well. 
but we've we've bundled all of that together to become a solutions organization so we think we stand on the